what's up everyone it's Aya welcome to my fifth tutorial on icode go this tutorial is gonna be the continuation of the first tutorial that was completed for one or two reason so today we're gonna be talking about um you know recently we have been talking of um, creating a folder then moving all the files in there so which I've already done so this is the folder I created www.playgame.com here are the files and this new one here which is form.php is the form feed that the user will input his data or his or her information and it will be submitted to the database and um, the login.php which is this one here just created it because it was required here in the, in the submit.php we said if the if database connects queries sql and is equal to true then header location.php login.php which is this one right here so that's why i created the login.php so let's assume I change anything here, it's gonna be changed in that page, which is the login.php. If the if it didn't work for some reason then echo there was an error while creating your account. And these codes we're having here, you can see that we are having some errors here which we need to be corrected today. So I haven't touched it, I left it to to this tutorial because uh, it's what we need to be corrected and if I correct it and uh, maybe without letting you guys know still gonna be facing the same problem so we missed some um, a quote single quote which is first name still the same thing but um, just the quote and you know without the quote it's not gonna work so first name Still the same as first name, just we added code to it. We'll still you can better still just add codes. If you don't want to type. Then email. And password. So that's that, and um, we still have another error here, which is um, the SQL insert into user. If you can see very well, you can see that um, we are using a, a variable in the insert into user, which is we're using a variable, and it's not supposed to be done that way. So we're gonna be removing the variables and leaving it F name, last name. Oh, sorry about that. Email and password. So let's assume it's work now. Or maybe do I have any other? Okay, okay now let's see if it's work because I don't want to waste much time on this um, tutorial so if you see that um, there is an error with your code or maybe you've edited it uh, the way I did mine please just go ahead and edit it follow the step closely and edit it so let's see what we got here let's just hit on the submit button and see what we got there was an error while creating your account which means we still have one or two errors in there so let's go back it's like we need to change this to first name uh oh can see some errors here so let's see first name Okay, 
I change it this way. First name. Then last name. Amy. Password. So now let's see what we got here. Um, form. I just hit the submit button. Okay. Thank you for creating an account with us. That means the form has been submitted to the database and it's gonna be blank because we didn't enter any information here. So now let's enter this information, some information here so that we will see if it's really submitted to the database. Here we got all here. We're gonna figure blah 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 dot blah 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 at gmail.com the password okay let's see a a a s s s c c c now let's go there see thank you for creating account with us now it's in the the login.php so now let's go to the database and see what we got Let's see if it's uh, if our form is really submitted to the database. Remember, we're using root, so log into root, and then um, what's the name of our database again? You can see we have two here. Here is it. So the first one. ID is empty because no form was submitted, and this was the time, which is the time, this timestamp that we use. Now look at the second one, which is um on the number two. You can see oh yeah, first name oh yeah, last name we're gonna figure. Let me blah blah blah. Then password a a a s s s c c. So now. Yes, we are going to add a tutorial for today. Now you guys have set a code of how to create a database, which is a second tutorial. Then uh, open a connection to the database, which is the fourth, uh, the third tutorial. And um, creating a, a PHP code that will submit file, which is handle the file to the database, which is in my fourth tutorial. And now you can see everything works well in my fifth tutorial. So if you're having any problem with this code that I've just submitted, uh, which is with my videos, please don't forget to hit the comment button and tell me so I'll guide you through. I'm still working on my website, so that's gonna be, um, I don't know it anyway, but that will be um, soon. So and there I'll be posting all these codes here. All you just need to do is copy and paste then edit it. So anyways, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my sixth tutorial.